Okay, sorry about that. Welcome to uh, part two of uh, this uh, of this uh, now two videos on odd moments of the standard normal distribution. So I was just about to tell you what an odd function was. So an odd function is uh, one where f of negative x is equal to negative f of x. Uh, so for instance, an example would be sine of x. Uh, if we plot the graph of sine of x, what we're going to get is on the positive side, it looks something like that. And on the negative side, it's the exact negative of what you've got on that side. So uh, if I take, for instance, uh, pi over 2 here, um, f of negative pi over 2, so if I put negative pi over 2 in, is equal to negative 1, which is negative of what f of pi over 2 was. Okay, uh, so there's an example of a perfectly odd function. And this here, x cubed uh, times f of x, is an odd function. Uh, because if I put negative x in here, uh, if I put negative x in, negative x cubed of f of negative x, f of negative x, because uh, the function f of x, this pdf up here, is perfectly even, meaning that f of x is equal to, uh, sorry, f of negative x is equal to f of x. So this is equal to negative x cubed of f of x. Now negative of x cubed is equal uh, to negative x cubed, um, x cubed f of x. Uh, so in that case, it is a perfectly odd function. And basically, uh, when you integrate uh, odd functions, so when you integrate an odd function, so let's say f of x is an odd function between negative a and a dx, then it has to equal zero. The reason being, uh, so if we look at sine of x, if you integrate it, uh, either, uh, if you even integrate it between a and then negative a, uh, then the integral is going to completely cancel out because for every point uh, on the positive side over which you integrate, there is a corresponding point on the negative side uh, where the integral is exactly the opposite and which uh, will cancel it out. Uh, so basically, if we, we could view this as the integral uh, from 0 to a of f of x uh, dx uh, and uh, plus uh, the integral from negative a of 0 or to 0 of f of x dx and uh, this one is exactly the negative of this one. And the reason is uh, that uh, f of negative x is going to be uh, the negative of f of x. Uh, so basically the integrals completely cancel one another out. And that occurs for every single odd power you can think of, uh, of x to the n f of x uh, dx. So the expected value of xn, where n is an odd number, is equal to the integral between negative infinity and infinity. And when n is an odd number, uh, these are all going to be odd functions, because uh, when you put in negative x into the negative x to the power of n, it will be negative x to the power of n. So you will get an odd function. And we're integrating symmetrically here. So this is always going to equal 0. So the odd moments of the standard normal distribution are all equal to 0. The even moments are more difficult to compute. Um, we know that the uh, expected value of x squared, uh, for instance, is going to be equal to uh, 1, uh, which we have calculated in previous videos. Uh, but calculating the general case is much more difficult, and it is a problem that we will have to face later on, because we want to uh, find the moment-generating function for the nor standard normal distribution. Mm -hmm.